Thanks for watching. And here's a trick that will save time on your calculus exam. I can guarantee it. So let's evaluate the integral from zero to one of x times arc sine of x. And for this, let's integrate by parts. So an antiderivative here is x squared over two times arc sine of x from zero to one minus the integral from zero to one of x squared over two times one over square root of one minus x squared dx. And here's the trick. Well, for the antiderivative of x, we can choose any antiderivative. So in particular, let's choose one that will cancel out this square root. And in particular, because we have this one minus x squared here, let's choose the antiderivative x squared minus one over two. And then what will end up happening is what we have here is one minus one over two arc sine of one minus zero minus one over two arc sine of zero where this is zero and then this is zero. So the boundary terms are zero so here and here. And then this becomes plus integral from zero to one of one minus x squared over two and then one over square root of one minus x squared. And then this just ends up becoming one half integral from zero to one square root of one minus x squared dx. But the cool thing is this integral, we don't even need to find an antiderivative because it's just the area of a quarter circle right here. So that's from zero to one. And this area, and then what is this area? It's one quarter pi one squared. So pi over four. So in the end, what is this integral equal to? So one half times pi over four, and that is pi over eight. That's it. Now, the cool thing is we can generalize this integral. So there's nothing special about zero and one. So let me just give you an idea how to generalize this. So in this case, let's evaluate the general antiderivative using the same trick. So now we know to choose the antiderivative x squared minus one over two, arc sine of x, and then minus the integral of x squared minus one over two, one over square root of one minus x squared, dx. Once again, this becomes one minus x squared, which cancels out with this square root. And so we end up getting x squared minus one over two, arc sine of x plus one half, integral of square root of one minus x squared dx. Now, this thing, there is a separate video on this where you just use the use of x equals sine of theta and then dx becomes cosine of theta, d theta. So then what we end up getting is x squared minus one over two arc sine of x and then I believe plus one quarter arc sine of x and then plus one quarter x square root of one minus x squared and then plus a constant and then I believe you can just combine this so minus one half plus one quarter, that is minus one quarter. And so I believe you can write this for instance as two X squared minus one over four arc sine of X plus one quarter X squared of one minus X squared. 
plus c. So this is a really, really cool trick that you can use whenever, let's say, you have x and you have an antiderivative and you notice a nice simplification with the derivative of the other function. All right, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.